Now we're gonna go for the weather station so we get uh, the improved weather forecasts. And hopefully we're gonna find you um, now we don't have uh, much food on board. Well it'll have to do. Ah we do have we do have enough. Oh, we have the weather station with us. Interesting. Good, good, Kameraden. Time to go. Not in the Mediterranean. Alrighty, so weather station it is. Let's set up uh, the weather station for Adolf then. <clears throat> it's gonna be a casual stroll, though I don't, uh, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be destroyers waiting for us, so we might blow something up. It would also be awesome if we would find a convoy along the way, but um, we're not at war with Russia yet. I mean the United, uh, I mean not United States, uh, USSR. We've taken over Poland. When did Adolf uh, attack France? In 1940? Oh, it's already January f uh, 1940. Man, time flies by. Alrighty, let's speed this up. Now we're gonna be saving fuel on this mission because uh, when we return, when we come back we're gonna try and find something... oh my god, heck. We should be up there in no time. Now, if, uh, if we get a report about a convoy, we're gonna go and attack it. Hmm. There is an option to pause when this pops up. I just don't know where that option is. Probably maybe in game game options. I didn't even. S Knod needs to repair. I mean Weber needs to repair it. Oh, it's snowing! Oh my god, we're going up here in January, which means our batteries, yeah, look at that, at the bottom says loss minus 30. Ooh. <clears throat> now he should get us another uh, spare part when he fixes this machine gun. Oh, is it a gun? Oh, it's the 88! The 88 froze over. Yeah, he used the spare part. He used the spare part, damn you. That means we should have one additional, yeah, one additional scrap metal in our pockets. <laughs> yeah, they're just uh, smoking the pipe. Uh. So, 
Who are you? <laughs> I'm looking the wrong way. Yeah, you know. Usually I'm turned against the winds. Oh, tiny group. Nah, that's too far. Ooh! Seven steamers, two corvettes. Seven steamers, guys. Seven steamers. God damn it. We went somewhere that way. Back with eggs, toast, and coffee. Guess what? I had um, I had uh, eggs today too. How fast were they moving? Do we know how fast were they moving? Ah. AN251 South West that was the one NA251 251 is up here yeah okay fine so that's the one <clears throat> we don't know the speed God damn it, not now. Okay, go down and listen. Viva! Go. We won't use the diesels anyway. Herr Kaloy, ich habe eine große Gruppe von Schiffen festgestellt. Vermutlich ein Gleitzug. Good, good. We need to get ahead of them. Shallow waters. Yeah, he can stay up. Let's, um, they should be somewhere here, somewhere in this area. Yeah, sehr gut. Okay, <coughs> there we go. Surface the boat. Speed it up. 22 kilometers to get there. Engineers, time to rest. Joe to I are gonna go and rest as well. Think it's time to save. Oops. So we can get in here quick. <clears throat> Are we up on the surface? Go diesel. Now we are not moving that fast, but uh, we'll still catch them nice and easy. 100 meters, which is perfect for the depth that we want to attack from. It's a uh, crappy weather. How big are the waves? Oh my god, again, we're not gonna see crap. 
Ah, uh, it's only half moon, which means visibility is gonna be really bad. But it's gonna be the worst because of a uh, crappy weather. Ooh, this might turn into a problem. We'll see. Yeah, we cannot see crap. Three kilometers ish. <clears throat> Time to refill my pipe. Since the latest update, the weather and the moon play a bigger role. Uh, especially the moon they uh, they've put in the moon cycles. So if um, if it's a black moon time or let's say no moon time, uh, you really cannot see anything at night. We've attacked a convoy the other day and we couldn't see shite. Okay, time to stop and see where they are. Wechseln auf E-Motor. Herr Galoy, ich habe eine große Gruppe von Schiffen festgestellt. Vermutlich ein Geleitzug. Gut, gut. Schiffsschrauben, Herr Galoy. That is 12 kilometers away. Let's check the battery. Battery loss down here is only 5%. Nah, you know what? We're gonna go deco wash. Okay, let's get the water out. They were 12 kilometers away, right? Oh boy, look at that! There's the main prize in the middle. We'll say they're moving at 235.6. Oh, come on. Jesus. <laughs> Using the rubber. Yeah, okay, this is fine. Oh my god, we're so gonna go and blast this one out of the water. Uh, we'll see what the escorts will do, but I don't think they can do much. So the distance between ships is 780 meters. 800-ish. We're gonna turn in, start moving fast. Who sounded the alarm? I told you not to sound the alarm, but okay, fine. You go on depth keeping, you go on engines, step on it. Zero is gonna be checking. Go blue. Turn the jar off. Oh my god, I cannot see shite. Alrighty. Alrighty. We still cannot spot these two ships. <clears throat> I mean, the big ones. Well, at least we'll have something to do uh, to use the torps on. Let's say we're gonna move like that. We still have three kilometers to cover. Now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna attack this ship first. And then we're gonna try and fire at this one as well. Actually, we're gonna fire at this one first. 
and then this one then we're gonna move in closer and attack these two if everything is gonna be as planned we'll see what the escorts will do in the meantime oh my uh, keep her steady dang it oh shit I cannot see a damn thing except the snow yeah the waves are a bit of an issue they should be 270 to 50 ish okay there's something <clears throat> an unknown ship we're looking at this one Visibility seems like it's not that bad. We're gonna see the ships when we attack them. Uh, we're up in two minutes. We're gonna be attacking from their port side. No, actually, starboard side. One kilometer, probably seven. Probably they're moving at seven knots. So yeah, we're gonna try and blast these two. And then these two. And then there's another big ship here. We'll see. Alrighty. Their course is a bit off. Six point seven, yeah, so we're gonna say seven knots. We won't be able to fire on this ship until this one goes down, if you ask me. <clears throat> Unless we fire from a greater distance. Okay, how far away are you two? 1.6k, that's quite a lot. So if we get close to 1.6, let's say 500, 600 meters. Actually, we need to be at 400. Oh, that means the ship is gonna cover the whole thingy. We won't be able to take a shot at her. Unless we take a very long shot. It's an Empire Explorer, <clears throat> so one torpedo can take her down. This should be it. Yeah, it is. Hmm. Hmm. We could move in and fire at both. That's also an option. Front tubes, aft tubes. Then we move backwards, attack this one and maybe this one if we're gonna have time. <clears throat> then move forward and attack this one. That's kind of probably the best way to take as many down as we can. So we have to move to here. That's still 2.4 kilometers. That's quite far. We can do it though. There's no um, DDs protecting it from the front. Now what are you? It's an Empire Tower. This one might take two torps. Probably this one the same. Alright, I'm gonna speed up the time a bit.
Yeah, we're gonna be there just in time. No, you are another empire. This is not an empire tower. It's the other one. But it will probably take two torps as well. Oh boy, they're all juicy targets. Alrighty. I'm gonna we send Knots to start preheating. T2s first. We're gonna go on depth keeping. I think we're close enough. Yeah, we're gonna make it, no problems. Why does one ship have an A on it? Oh, it's the one that I'm actually aiming at it. It's the one that is locked. <clears throat> Nothing special. There should be, it was reported that there's another one. Okay, we're gonna stop the boat now. It was reported that there's two escort ships. Seven sixty eight hundred. I'm going to move forward a bit so they both have the same distance. Or actually, you know what, we're gonna take a shot at this one first, then the one at the front. Haha! -ha. Man, they do preheat torpedoes like crazy when you have the um, the alarm on. Alrighty, let's call the captain and try and see if he can identify anything. I can see the ships now. I mean, the ship now. It's uh, the masts. Oh yeah. You are an Empire Bell. Velocity seven. Course. Who cares? Distance is gonna be around eight hundred. There should be one at around 181, so around 200 ish. Oof. This one's closer, that one's further away. This one should be it. Yeah, that's the one. Zir good, Kameradan. Let's uh, identify you. That's an Empire Tower. Oh my, this one might use up two torps. Uh, <clears throat> 2.7 thousand tons only. It says 5.2. It is an Empire Tower. One gazillion percent. No, 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 um, seven knots, that's gonna be around 700. We could start tracking it though. And why not? We're gonna have to fire both tubes at the same time. So, uh, we're gonna have to set things up. Hmm. 
properly. And we're gonna have to be quick about it. Okay, that's the right course if you ask me. So we're just gonna move this thing around. Now you are spot on course as well. She's 32. Three on the red, track it, we are not moving, so that's not needed, flood the oh, top five, alright, ignore, get ready, preheat the rest, so uh, like I said, we're gonna fire T2s first, and then probably reload T1s. Everything is set and ready to go. <clears throat> now this is just an empire. You know, it is a tower, but it's gonna take two torps. Yeah, we're gonna back it up. As soon as we attack, we're gonna back it up and get ready to attack these two ships. So she's now at 38, says 38 and a half, not bad. The next torpedo we're gonna send at 44, uh, so out goes at 30 from the back, from the aft tube, and then we're gonna send the one forward at 44 knots. So they won't have time to react. If we're gonna be fast enough, that's gonna be the main question. Alrighty now, get ready to start loading up new torps. We can speed up the time a bit. Is this one in front? No, it's not. 49. 50 it's one degree we can do it like that <clears throat> 53 yeah 54 Okay, so now it should be 54, 55, 55, perfect, we are more or less ready, we just need to wait for the ship to get closer to the front, but before we take the shot we're gonna get uh, ready for uh, torpedo to fire at the front as well, I'm gonna set everything up. Um, Set torpedoes from stun to kill, yes! <laughs> oh, is that what the dial does? Add stun, so scraps a few degrees. Yeah, you can actually set it um, three degrees. This is like aiming for the front of the ship, for example. One degree. But uh, if it's very far away, one degree, you know, is uh, bigger and bigger and bigger when it comes to distance. Okay, they are ready. We did turn a bit. We did turn a bit. The currents have turned us a bit. So that's gonna be a... Um, could be a miss. Okay, 72. 80, we'll say 73, 74, 73, Close. Oh, 
Bewässern! Oh. Rohr 1, bewässern! Rohr 1, bewässern! This one is at 82, at 800, 82. Eight hundred forty four knots. Los! Now let me pause. Uh, we're gonna load up a T one. Yeah, it took us that long to be able to, I mean, to get the torp ready to fire. <coughs> so, uh, I'm pause. This one's gonna be smack in the middle. Oh, Irma! Let's hope she sinks. Now this one is rushing like crazy. They did slam on the brakes, let's hope we hit. I cannot even see the ship. Oh yeah, we're gonna hit. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> that was a proper one. Ooh, they're good, Kameraden. She's burning. She doesn't look that well. Uh, back up. We can speed up backwards. Is that 90 degrees? Oh my god, that's 90 degrees. Alright, is there good, sehr good, Kameraden. And Doc V. That one should be at around 270. That's too far. This one. Lock. This needs to be fixed. I don't put this there. I can. Okay, damn it. Alrighty, you go and decipher that. Yeah, this is really fucked up. Forward tubes, we're gonna be attacking from port side, starboard side, 7 knots is gonna be close range shot. That's like 500 meters. Irma torpedoed! Oh, happy Irma! Receive Yavoy! Alrighty, alrighty, yeah, we're looking at the right ship. <clears throat> 7, course 90, distance 500. We're gonna fire the T2. Alrighty, there's no point in changing anything. Knod, if you can load and preheat the torpedo at the back, we might even attack the ship up on the north. <clears throat> Irma, yeah, happy Irma. We're gonna leave um, zero deciphering the messages. Very good, very good. For now, we're perfect position to attack these two ships. Well, 800 meters. We're gonna aim for 800. So that's that's eight thousand nine eight. Oh, she's a chubby one. That's also an Empire Tower. Yeah, this one is heavy, so this one will take two torps, most likely. Okay. Very nice. Yeah, we broke it in half. 
if you manage to hit the ship in the right spot it's uh, here uh, between the mast and the superstructure if you hit it here then she usually broke I mean quite a lot of uh, times it breaks up it's the same with um, uh, the aircraft carriers I've managed to to break up the aircraft carriers in half but it needs two torpedoes in the same place like if you hit it twice bong bong she's a goner okay let's clear out these things we're soon gonna be in position in perfect position you are another empire tower we're gonna fire at her first because we are pretty much ready to do so we're gonna fire both t2s or actually let's go with one t1 uh sorry one t2 <coughs> We're gonna see how it goes. Alrighty. Preheat. Captain. Captain. Go hard stop. We're gonna fire at an angle. We're gonna start tracking now. 52, 51. Oh, 51 spot on. Track it. We're not moving anymore. We are sending the messages. Okay, we're not moving anymore. Good, good. I don't know if you guys can see the ship. You probably can now. <clears throat> when she starts turning out, we're gonna take the shot and then we're gonna aim for this one. And uh, in the meantime, we'll see what happens with her. If she's gonna need another T1 with a high speed, we're gonna send it. Okay, she's now at 59-ish, 60-ish, 60 spot on, the angle is still far from okay, so we're gonna wait a bit more. Did you already preheat that? Oh my! He should get a medal. Okay, we'll soon be able to take the shot. This is 20 degrees uh, turn, which means the torpedo will blow up <clears throat> without setting it to magnetic. Says it is a 63 now. Yeah, well. 67. 66 we'll take the shot was the distance correct open the vessel 180 please open the vessel she's at 70 at 900 meters That one's gonna be a hit. Okay, let's concentrate on the other one. We need to wait for her to start turning in. Oh, she got it well. Oh, 
Oh, she's gonna go down for sure. Okay, she's turning in. So, 900 meters, 84. One, two, three, four. 900 meters is already set. 40 knots, 40 knots. It's going almost straight. Lost! Forward tubes. Then we're gonna start moving forward to attack the last big ship and we'll see the um, what the escorts will do. It should hit now. It was set to 40 speed. Oh, we broke her in half as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no need for fire. Yeah, look at that. Oh, she's gonna sink. She's gonna sink quick. <laughs> well, guys, you're an awesome crew. What else can I say? Zir goods. They have no idea. Okay, uh, this one's next. I think that's the one already? Oh, no, 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 it's the wreck. It's the lifeboats. We don't want to torpedo the lifeboats. Ah, there you are. She is a what? An Empire Bell. It's an Empire Bell. Seven knots, course 90, distance 1000 probably. We're gonna send a T1. Or maybe a T2, we'll see. Yeah, we'll send a T1 probably. Uh, Preheat. Let's start moving forward. No, actually, I'll stop, I'll stop. This is gonna be a long shot. Two kilometers, we're gonna send a T1. With a speed of 40. Did I fire the one at the back at the wrong speed? <clears throat> okay, she's ripe for the shot. 59 at 2 kilometers. We need to start moving backwards if you want. Well, actually, we do have time to attack this one. We're gonna move backwards, fire a T2 edit. Now, let's hope she's not bobbing and weaving too much, because otherwise we're gonna miss. It's a two kilometer shot, it's a very long one for a ship that's evading. Now, there's two ways how I kind of hit those kinds of uh, long shots either a set one degree um, to the ship's backside which means you kind of fire the torpedo at its butt but because it's you know, moving kind of slower it's gonna hit it in the middle but it depends on the distance or I adjust some other way now this time we went without the adjustment so we'll see cannot see the ship yet oh there it is Oh, the torpedo's too fast. Yeah, it's too fast. Dang it. Dang it! She's gonna need another one even if we hit. Okay. She's heavy. I'm gonna move backwards. 
And I uh, hope she's gonna sink, burn and sink. She's losing health, as you can see on the bottom. Two seventy. That should be another one at two seventy. That's the one. Two ninety. Seven. Of course. Who cares? Distance gonna be long. Short range. We're gonna flood a two two. Which one? Tube 3 Bewegung, los, schneller! Rohr 3, bewässern! How's this one doing? Ooh! Rohr 3, bewässert! Nice! These guys are oblivious. They have no idea where the heck we could be. You need at least 300 meters for the torpedo to actually... Um, uh, to arm. So did we identify this ship? It's an Empire Bell. I guess we did. Wait, what's wrong? Okay. Angle is still not right. When she starts turning in, we're gonna take the shot. Six hundred, five hundred meters. Five fifty at seventy-one. We'll say that. Oh, seventy-one. Five fifty. We're gonna adjust a bit. Okay, she's turning in now. So we'll say seventy-four, seventy-five at five thirty. Five hundred, because she's closing in. Boy, ah. Alright, let me take this off. Ha ha! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Funny how we're getting less dots with M Maelstrom off. Of the job. <clears throat> well, Maelstrom was one of the most awesome uh, torpedo handlers in the previous campaign. I mean, he was the. Oh, bad shot. That was not meant to be like that. How the heck did we miss by that much? She's not gonna go down. 91 at 540. Ninety two at five forty. Oh, she probably slowed down by a lot. Well, we'll see. This one's dead in the water. Where's the torpedo? Oh, she's gonna eat it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, take your time. Oh, definitely a goner. Yeah, look at that. 
Where is that escort? Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Oof, at least they are not, um, you know, freezing. I think we can uh, forget about this one. Now, let's see. I think the other one's just behind it, you know, it's, we won't be able to see. Well, actually. There's just a bunch of live boats. Now that's definitely a target. It's definitely a target. We could send a T2 edit, or we could save the torpedoes. They've abandoned the boat. We could send a torpedo at this one. <clears throat> Or we could save the torpedo for some other time. We're gonna save the torpedo. We're still potent, so we can attack an additional uh, another convoy. We fired all the tubes at the back. I mean, all the torps from the back, right? Both went out. Yep. I wish you could move the torpedo at the back. I'm gonna start moving closer. We're gonna put a marker on it. Just in case... Um... Now we could uh, torp it, but like I said, we're not gonna. What I'm more or less thinking about is surfacing the boat and shooting it with the dig gun and then just bugger away. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, hmm, I really am thinking about uh, using the dig gun. She's not moving, but we won't be able to see shy. That's the main issue. I'm not sure what the DD is gonna do. They still don't know where the heck we could be. They have no idea. It's still on fire. No, no, this one's not on fire. She just need a shot at the back. And she's sticking out of the water, you know. So it's gonna be... Oh my god, where is it? She's sticking high out of the water. So it means we can fire from, uh, from a distance. It all depends how much um, our boat's gonna be rocking, but she only needs a shell or two. One shell here and a couple of shells up there and she's a goner. So we could kinda try. Let's hope they uh, GTFO. Wait, let me grab another drink. We bravely ran away! I think that that DD is running away. I think they're running scared away from us. Oh yes, they are. Oh no, they're not. Wait, there's still another ship. Oh. Okay, let's see. Are they searching? They're running away. This one's going back. On the Conway path. Hans, 
Armblasen. Herr Kaloi. Bestätigt. Alarm abgebrochen. Das ist gut. Bestätigt. So try to rest. Can you get uh, up on the Wechseln auf Dieselmotor? Observation thingy. Okay, he's going up. Keep on closing. Turn on the diesel. Oh, come on, are you retarded? They spotted the what? The nothing. Turn off automatic alarm. Turn on the boost launch. Joe try turn on the heater. I cannot see a damn thing. Wittmann. <laughs> die Lampe. <laughs> Schalten die Lampe an. Uh, turn on the fridge. You go and turn on the pump. Come on, Wittmann. <clears throat> That should do it. Yeah, she's going down. These guys better say Hurrah! Alrighty, Wittmann. Lights off. Go blue. Get off the cannon. Now. Step on it, send in the message. We're gonna go on a hunt. There's still one more ship that we can actually get to. Okay, did you turn the lamp off? Now go and get the shells up. Da! <coughs> Transfer. We're flooring it, we're chasing one more... Um, Um, what was it? A merchant. Not sure how they could think they were on that side, since all impacts were on the starboard. So, yeah, well, they were not. We The first two ships got hit, you know. One was port, one was... Actually, the first ship that was hit was hit from the port side. And the next one was hit on starboard side. And then the third one got hit again on starboard side. And then it... I. Then it was a port side hit again. <clears throat> we definitely threw them off. Because <laughs> pretty much the hits, at least the first uh, hits were all in the same time. I mean, both were more or less at the same time. Wait a second, somebody. Just a minute. fine now we might have a bit of an issue while uh, trying to find that uh, ship all right let uh, the captain smoke the pipe for a bit <clears throat> were there two ships still left I think there's only one but honestly I don't I'm not sure um, 
So yeah, we're gonna definitely gonna go on a chase. But if we spot the DD, we are f f f ah okay, freighter and a DD. Okay, that's fine. Tiny group one, two, three. I think this is. Let's go down to a um. Um, Dika wash. Wait, why cannot we see anything? Oh man... Are we gonna ram something? We shouldn't ram it. Okay, up the boat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. We have this, we have this. That was a hit. Another hit. Damn it. Yeah, we're not gonna waste too much ammo. Oh my god. Okay, the lamp on, the lamp on. That it is firing at us. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Ah, dang it. <laughs> Let's call it a warning shot. Damn it. Yeah, you can see the shells from a DD. Are we flooring it? We are flooring it. Okay, okay, this is now going better, come on. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Diddy is gonna sing them if he won't. <laughs> I think she has enough. But we'll give a shell or two. Just to make it sure. Yeah, she's going down. Come on, turn the light off. We're off, boys. <clears throat> They're not taking shots at us anymore. Are we deck wash? We're not deck wash. <laughs> I think we've uh, literally buggered away. We're gonna go back to original course. Let them wander around. them yet again let's save and uh, <clears throat> get that station up I guess if you're gonna have the time oh man how many torps do we still have they're still pretty Got potent so we have four five six seven torps all together and it's yeah well not bad, not bad. Now we must not burn the engines. Uh, it's half past one in the morning. I'm gonna burn it until half past two. Alrighty, back to fuel con... Ooh! Oh my! <laughs> AN412, that's the same one! Oh, it's not. Wait, 412 was it? Am I retarded? 412 Southwest And that was the corner that we sank 4 Ah 412 Okay so it is up here Now nah, that's the one we cannot catch <clears throat> Now that is never gonna find us Look at the weather They can look all they want Boy, did we get them. Um, okay, let's see. Food situation. Now we're gonna have issues with... Um, we're gonna have issues with uh, the batteries here. 24% loss. It's gonna get even worse in cold, uh, uh, cold water. Okay, let's put the French cheese in. Everybody is equipped. Oh yes, they are. Good.
You know what would be nice? If you would have a mission in Port of Narvik, there were a few battles here, naval engagements between the British and the, um, the Germans, landings and all that. And let me refill the pipe. And um, I think the Germans lost a couple of destroyers um, when they kind of got stuck in port of Narvik. The British fleet came and they knocked them out. Or maybe it was a submarine, I really don't know. Cannot remember. <laughs> But uh, yeah, the port of Narvik is where uh, Adolf was actually moving steel, steel ore from Sweden over and then uh, with the ships down to Germany. Hey there sword, how's it going mate? We're gonna set up a weather station just for you. <laughs> Now this will get dangerous, there will definitely be, we need rested up crew, because I don't know who we're gonna send, probably, well we'll probably send either Zero or Joe, or Joe Toy, and one of the engineers and uh, probably uh, Wittmann's gonna go, so let's send Wittmann to rest, I'm gonna take over the maps. And uh, Knot, well, or maybe, yeah, one of the engineers will go. Yeah, watch for icebergs. Uh, icebergs. That's something that the developers said they're gonna put in um, in the next update, I think. Next major update. Which might also be um, the 1.0, an official release of the game. Okay, now the water depth here is gonna be none. Alright, I call the captain. Wake up the captain, we're here. <clears throat> oh boy, it's freezing. So yeah, Whitman's gonna go. I'm gonna stay inside, you know, with the heater. <laughs> so sword, how's life? Okay, we're gonna send the group to land, but we'll probably have to... This is good. Um, the weather is good for us. Because <clears throat> there's definitely gonna be DDs coming over. Alrighty. Uh, stop. Send the team to the coast. So, Wittmann's gonna lead. Um, oh my god, who's not tired? Alrighty, uh, we're gonna send Wittmann, Zero and Knot. <clears throat> Do we have... Do we have to give them... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Captain. You never know, there could be polar bears. Aha! Zero! You almost forget the weather station. So we've got a gun. We've got everything. <clears throat> okay, let's hope that's gonna be it. Wittmann, zero with his weather station. And Knot with his wrench. 
What does this thing do? Ranks 0 to 7. Ah, okay. Well, men, it's been nice knowing you. Yeah, give them a rifle. You're right. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows if there's a polar bear? For adding random crew. Oh! That might speed up the process. Yeah, scout the area. Now you go on the radio. Just listen if there's anything there. You're gonna go on observation. Now, in case of emergency, we can dive down to periscope depth, or maybe even down to the bottom. Oh boy, how long are they gonna be scouting? <clears throat> oh, nice, nice sort. We need to do the maintenance on the bilge pump. Well, lucky for us, Viba is on board. So I'll go and do the maintenance. Did you use up a spare part? No. Build the weather station. Our scouts oh, found a good location to deploy the weather station and carried all components there. We can start assembling it. Go ahead. Oh, we've turned around. So there are currents. What's the visibility here? 2.6k. Yeah, I was just about to say we should dive down real quick. Oh boy. Or actually, don't turn on the alarm, just go blue. Get on the depth keeping, I say. If they spotted us, we're fucked. Did we dive? Empty the ballasts. Okay, we're diving. Wechseln auf E-Motor. Auf die Rohrtiefe. Alarm! Feindlicher Zerstörer in Sicht! Ja, wir wissen, wir wissen das. Okay. I mean, they're probably having a party up there on those DDs. Oh, we should spot them by now. Actually, our sub is looking that way. They are way more to the port side. <clears throat> so, more than 270, I mean, less than 270, like 200 ish. Yeah, 250. Alrighty. No idea what this could be. Oh, there's one. There's another one. You know how it goes. I'm thinking about blowing one or two out of the water. But we're facing that way. 
We could turn the torpedo. But we won't be able to hit two at the same time. Oh, actually... Huh. We'll try not to alert them. Scope down. <laughs> Veggie soup. Did you hide the scope, mate? You did, I guess. Come on, Herkeloin, press the button. 24 meters. We're gonna dive down to 20. We are still so long on the sea. 20 meters. I'll take her down to the bottom. Um, we're fine. We're lucky the weather is bad. Oh, they would mess us up. Oh yeah, these are proper ones. We would have to sink all three of them. Otherwise, we're gonna... So... We're gonna stay quiet there. It's 2.3k away. Come on, set up that weather station. <laughs> They're gonna be back. We're gonna wait a bit more. And uh, the captain is gonna have a short little toot time. I wish we could speed up the time a bit more just to finish this. Okay, they're getting close and they're getting there. I don't know if there's anything else we have to do. <clears throat> now, um, get back on listening. the diesels Kapitän Wait, what did he say? Click anywhere. Damn it, I didn't see. How can we receive the radio and transmission? Our radio man received new, less important messages from other ships. Ah, weather station, decoded message. Don't send it. Don't send it. How can I get the, the guys back from the um, thingy? Are they back? Ok, 
Okay, it seems like they're back. Okay, we're gonna send in the message. Now let's hope we don't get spotted. It's not a uh, pissing rain anymore. Seem to get to deep waters. Oh boy, just in time to get uh, home back to the pub and uh, get drunk. And then some uh, chase some mistresses around. Yes, we've docked. <clears throat> 